What is up guys? I wanted to give you a voiceover here to tell you what I'm doing while we are milking in super fast speed. <laughs> I'm wiping out my bucket to make sure no dust or anything fell in it. I've already brushed her and I have washed her udder with hot soapy water and then I have gone with another towel wash rag and cleaned each of her teeth. And then I squirted three squirts at least from each teat onto the ground, not in my bucket. That has the highest content of bacteria, that uh, milk that has sat in her teat. So we, walk, we get that out before we begin milking into our bucket. And then I am milking. And this is not nearly as fast <laughs> as I go, but I think I'm pretty fast anyway. So tell me, are you someone that actually wants a milk cow? Or are you someone that just thinks it's just the craziest thing in the world that someone would go and milk their cow and get milk uh, for their family every day? We actually only do this once a day. I say we, but I'm the only one that milks in our family. We milk once a day and I get between two and a half and three gallons. And then my calf, which you will see her in the pictures, in the video, her name is Sadie. She is getting all the milk she wants. This is after she is nursed as much as she wants all day. I actually don't even pin her in it away from mother because that keeps the, the cream from being held back by the cow. Uh, if she knows that she's going to go feed her, her calf right after she gets milk, she will hold back milk to make sure she has milk for her baby. And because we are not doing that, she's not holding her milk back. And when she holds her milk back, the very last of her milk is actually the cream. The cream rises to the top of your jars. The cream rises to the top of the udder. So it is the last to come out. So I feel like this is a great way to win and still working on it. So when you are milking, you want to, people could like explain it like you're getting um, toothpaste out of a tooth. Uh, paste container. You just squeeze at the top. I use my my index finger and my thumb to pinch the top so that it doesn't go back up and then I roll my fingers down. Now the, her back teats are so small. Uh, it That isn't even actually something I can do. Sometimes I have to use like three fingers especially when she is completely full and it is very tight. I have to just use three fingers to milk her out. But look! Look how much milk I have in my bucket. This is fast speed, but it's only double speed. So I can get three gallons of milk out of her in less than 16 minutes. And she is a pleasure. She has not moved her feet. Well, she did there, but that's my husband is filming and he got in her way. Um, but she does not kick. She does not care that I'm doing this. She actually will moo very angrily at me if I do not come and milk her at least once a day. And I, this is not 7 a.m. if you haven't picked up on that. The sun is right overhead. This is about lunchtime. Because I have not pinned that calf back, I am in no hurry to get out there because she has uh, someone milking constantly. So I just make sure I get it in at least once a day. The, mil the calf has not been drinking enough to empty her completely by herself. So. This is what we have done and figured out that this is the best situation for us. We are so thankful for our cow and all the milk she gives us. It is a huge blessing. We make cheese, we make yogurt, we make sour cream, cream cheese, butter, 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 butter. Butter is the main thing we want to make, but you got to do something with all the, the liquid too. The cream is the only thing you make butter out of. So here I am, very happy talking. I think I'm actually singing to her about how she is a dream boat and um, she's a dream cow. She really is, she's wonderful. She's out of grain here, so she's starting to uh, look on the ground to see if she dropped any. We don't feed more than once a day. So she is, she is looking around on the ground there for that. So, how long was that? In fast speed, it was like five minutes and I have a full bucket and Mickey is licking all over the place looking for more of her grain. Hey, it's not that hard to milk a cow. Hey, if you want to do it, if you really like the idea of it, just do it. Find a way to do it. 
subscribe and stick around to my channel. I'll be showing all kinds of milk cow things and how we use all this milk. So this bucket is so heavy, I have to give it to my husband to carry it in so I don't spill.